Hi, uh, I'm the Saber Hunter and I'm going to play Stagatol Origins. Uh, right now it's the 16th and if all goes well you're only watching this on the 20th because I'm not allowed to publish anything before that date. Uh, I'm one of the founders uh, of Stagatol Origins. Uh, I paid lots of money about a year or so ago to get early access to this game and I've played a bit during development. But now we're close to release and I want to play the full game. So, here we go. Here we go. The singularity formed, its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding. These beings, now known as the Lexites, left Earth, traveling to multiple planets in our solar system, before vanishing altogether. This is why we are here. Welcome to Star Control, a state-of-the-art international space agency, tasked with the exploration of our solar system and the defense of Earth. Here resides the world's brightest minds and greatest technology, brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown. Help us pioneer yeah, the future. Join today. That's the title of this music. Play challenging. My controls have been reset. And I'm going to do a quick jump to. Eh, I'm going to my controls. Okay. 
let's I mean Adam Cobble does uh, analysis of the uh, cover screen I don't know what else I could say um, the stack of font is very simplistic but I don't think it should be any more complicated the, you can already see the planets which are uh, a bit cartoonish but not too much uh, oh, I like the, the comic relief in the menus Yeah, we haven't implemented the full casting system yet. Split Paddles is what used to be Super Melee, but we needed to have another name for it. Uh, yeah, good boxes. Okay, we need to save the universe. No pressure. Originating from where exactly? It's local. The Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. <clears throat> he's still on administrative leave from the incident. What incident? That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. Okay, there is a bit of a bug in here, which means this is the only way I could enter the name I wanted to use. Maybe they fixed it. They fixed it! Okay, I'll be commanding the Vindicator on challenging mode. I like the Vindicator. Did you see the reference to Half-Life 3? I'm still a bit bothered by the lighting out on the Earth. But isn't this pretty? I mean, this, this lighting doesn't make sense. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Thank you. Time to get started. Let's. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. What do we know about this radio signal? It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. Yeah, I know what you're talking That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They Makes are sense. substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. It's cold and distant. Uh, what should they do when they reach Triton? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find a signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. But otherwise, it's safe to die. Sure. You die as much as you want, Captain. Just send the ship back. Right. Uh, does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lexites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. Uh, do we know why the Lexites left? We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon okay. hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Of our smell, huh? Are you... are you Oz? Uh, do we know where the Lexites went? After they left Earth in 2085, we know they set up on the moon for a short while, but that was just a staging area. So they're out there somewhere. Oh, the Lexus dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. 
But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. And be nice. Okay, that's enough about the Sure, Captain. Uh, any advice on the actual journey to Triton? You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? No. That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? Okay, I know all this, so I'm gonna skip it. Hope that helps, Captain. Yeah, your yeah, vote of confidence is overwhelming. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Most expensive, yes. Try not to lose it. We'll steal it. I'll try to try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator-class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Roger that. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. Roger that. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Okay, I know I can collect all the resources from everywhere before I go to Triton, but I'm just gonna visit the moon first. That's the moon, Lexite Ruin. It's cold, but rather stable, lifeless. Some silica and base metals. This is a canyon world. Like a glove. Resource collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Okay, this is my inventory and fleet status screen. It's very nice, I can, I can see what's inside the lander, what's on the Vindicator. Pretty cool. Currently no fleet, just a little bit of ship. The log is in Investigate Triton. My objective is to Investigate Triton. And we haven't gone there yet. And I'll do the Codex once per play. I'll read one thing, but it's still a bit long, so maybe a bit later. Okay, not the ruin just yet. I love it that you can see, you can see stuff from the surface, like the earth and, and star control. And the Vindicator should be somewhere over here, too. And that's, that's Mars. That's the indicator. Isn't she a beautiful ship? I love it. Okay, I'm full of everything. Let's visit the Luxite facility. Hello. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Luxite settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Yeah. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, Threat to remnants detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? Not I don't. I don't keep that on me. We'll have to come back later then. Or ignore this entirely. Your call, Captain. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go fetch some uranium from somewhere. Okay, we'll get back to this. Triton! 
We'll go to the training facility later. First, let's take a look at Neptune. Neptune. It's a gas giant. It's rather cold and unstable, and the gravity will suck the life out of you. Up Triton! Captain, <laughs> we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Unidentified downed object. This is a frozen planet. Very, very cold. Lots of gases. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, let's bring it. This is me. Oh, let's bring it. Yeah, I'm gonna. That. Yeah. I wanted to go to the option screen to turn the music back up a bit. That's it. Go back. Actually came. Yeah, I did. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Please don't. Who are you? Your friends? Maybe? I am Chief Viscosity Officer Rindu of the Tyron. Nice to meet you, Rindu. I am human from Earth. You think it's Nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. What are you doing on Triton, Windu? It's a funny story. you like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. If people shoot at you, they're not really your friends. That makes so much sense when you say it that way. We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. Just 50 years ago? And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. The scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Well, Hence then. the distress call. If you started receiving transmissions 50 years ago, shouldn't it be like 150 years ago? 
Uh, seems like he needs more help from us than the other way around. That's a fair point. Still, watch a few favors between friends. We're not friends yet. Oh. Oh, Windu. Yeah, you did it again. We gotta go back to Earth and warn them about these scribe things. You probably should. The scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Squished. Our hyperwave radio was one of them. Which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Half. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage. But we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. You can fix half your ship falling off. We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. You look like you're incredibly good at your jobs. Thanks! Where did that other half of your ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not start to death far from home. Yes. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Um. Well, we have, we have some questions. You want to learn more about us? That's what I we have never been moister. What Please do you want to know, best friend? Uh. So, you, tell us more about. No, you've been spying on us. Spying makes it sound so creepy. Yes. I mean, it is creepy. Yes. It just doesn't have to sound that way. We prefer to call it potential friend oversight. Uh-huh. That makes it sound creepier. Yeah, we're never going to completely get away from the creepiness problems here. Were you the ones doing the abductions with the, the probing? No, that was you. We just watched. Some humans went into the woods and came out walking funny, and they made all that up as an excuse. We never had anything to do with that, no matter how much we wanted to talk to you, and hug you, and hold you, and cuddle you. Until you could travel the stars for yourselves, it was safest if we just left you alone. So you don't know any little blue-green men called Adelie? Of course! Um, tell us more about these scribe. They're the dominant species in this part of the galaxy. Or at least the part of the galaxy we know about. When we first reached the stars, it was the scribe that met us and forcefully included us into their empire. That sounds familiar. Uh, how are you protecting us from them? No offense, but why would they let you slugs in but not us? We joined the empire about 600 years ago. The scribe have changed a lot since then. These days, <coughs> they're really more into exterminating new species they encounter. 
I'm sure they'll understand our potential once they get to know us. No doubt! Which is why they will definitely kill you all first! Uh, how are you protecting us from them? Because we knew the scribe would wipe you out if they found you. We've often kept a ship in the area to steer them away if they came by. Don't even bother checking out that yellow star, I'd say. Not a great plan, I realize, as I say it out loud. But it was never an issue. They actually don't care that much of what happens in this neighborhood. Until just recently, anyways. Why were you protecting us? Entirely unselfish reasons, you could be sure of that. Honestly, once we started watching your shows and writing fan fiction for your shows, and then uh, taking that fan fiction a bit too far for your shows, we could hardly just sit back and do nothing. Fan fiction is the best reason I've ever heard to interact with a new species. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, we don't much like talking about them either. Uh, okay. So, will you help? Uh, we need to contact us first. Just wait here. Okay, we just try not to think about it too long. Because we'll still die here. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. I'm under orders to not die, so those pass on to you. Okay. Let's go find the blue world. Loud blue world. Triton is a no. Let's see what else we have. Uranus might be a good call. Let's check out Uranus. Start with moon number one, Miranda. Miranda is a rocky canyon world, which is cold, otherwise very Earth-like gravity. And we have an unidentified object. Let's go. Let's see what we have here. Let's look back. We can see what's left. Because why wouldn't we? Look at the vindicator. Okay. What do we have here? That looks like a car half buried in the, in the dirt. Or something. Captain, it looks to be a crashed automobile. No idea how it got up here. We are sending me up to the ship for examination. Aha! Aha! It's a crashed Tesla. That's amusing. That's very amusing. gonna collect the rest of the resources because I'm probably not gonna come back here. Well we found where Starman went. So if I remember correctly every type of planet and there are a lot of them has its own specific variation of the music, which is kind of cool. Okay, that was Miranda. How the hell did it get into a moon of Uranus? Hang on. Do we have it? Yeah, it's a crash Tesla. No idea how this got this far out. Weird. Isn't it weird? Okay. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. 
Yeah, I thought so too. Also, a cannon world. Let's see what we have. Don't miss the landing. Okay. That's the materials. That looks like a hyper wave, a hyper dive engine. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Yeah, but I still want to go to the inner planets and look for other stuff. Maybe get some uranium. Damn, this place is rocky. It's rocky. I need jump jets. Ah, uh, jump jets. I would really like some jump jets. Okay, that's everything. Cool. What else do we got? Let's stop by reporting back and see what the commando says. What is that? No, 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 no. That's a cut sky probe. Fuck that. Scan it. Scan it. Vessel does not match patterns for any authorized sentient being. EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. Yeah, we're not very advanced. 2D image in broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known sentience in this sector. You are not a Tyrone. Who are you? Uh... No, we're Tyrone. Check again. Remain where you are. A scribe Reddit has been notified of your unauthorized existence that is approaching this sector now. Hold. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear system of unauthorized organic vessels. Continue to remain where you are. Uh, how about no? How about I kill your ass? Welcome to fleet battles. These are boosts. Um, okay, why aren't I firing? That's not good. Fire primary, fire secondary. Okay, that's annoying. Okay. Let's go. Okay, then this is a very short range. Ow, ow. I don't like that. That hurts. Commander, I've been shot at. I don't like it. It hurts. Let's go to Mars. Let's get our ass to Mars. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Two of them. Is this something to do with the Lexites or something else entirely? Let's investigate. Uh, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay, what do we have here? Is that a hyperweapon communicator? This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Good. Here's another one. This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Yeah, this could have used uh, line with a bit of a variety. But we found some stuff.
Let's do it again. I want that plastic resource. Where is it? Okay, now we can go. Blender boost. Blender jump. Yeah, 50 years ago is too late to receive any transmissions, isn't it? Okay, star control. You're back. How was frightened, Captain? Cold. We discovered a craft training ship with a live alien in it. What? Telecommander everything. Well, not everything. Everything perfect. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing offering to help, Captain. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. Should be. So we've come to a conclusion. We want you to help them. Of course. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Given what you've just told us about this scribe probe, it sounds like this is a pretty credible threat. I didn't say anything about the scribe probe. Uh, we actually found something weird in the left side of one on the moon. Yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain, finding out what happened to the Lexites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? We already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to assist that alien on Triton. Investigate the Lexite ruins when you have time. I'm not sure that's now. It's gonna be useful. There's a machine there that says it needs uranium to operate. Uranium? Do you have any idea how much paperwork needs to be done to bring radioactive materials into orbit? It would take years, Captain. That's not a joke. You'll have better luck finding that yourself. You've got resource collection landers. Use them. Yeah, just You'll to probably be able to find that on Mercury. Up. Or maybe Io. I'll go look. Uh, we'll need to resupply before we go. Oh? Like what? Uh, fuel? I guess that's Starship driving for you. Unfortunately, things are a little tight around here. We've used up almost every resource we had making that ship of yours. Even making payroll has been challenging. I have not been too popular around here lately. Return here with any resources you find on your travels. We'll use advanced space accounting practices to determine what we can build with them. Space accounting! This will all be presented to you as resource units, or RU. Which you can then exchange for fuel or other supplies. Okay. No fleet yet. Wait, I can recruit? No. Outfit ship. One basic nuke, one in drive, and one hawking fast. Let's point the ship in the direction we want it. The fastest engine humanity has ever built, except it has been too proven to not work. Uh, basic nuke. Yeah, I want a better nuke. Any other people? No. First officer Kerry. Expert on land operations and planetary environments. Uh, sensors, nothing. Special. Fleet coordinator. My resource unit is very limited. Position production computer. Huh. So it's not a guarantee, not a guarantee. Weapons. Point defense and advanced nukes. Later. 
cyberspace, nothing. Modules, cool quarters. Yeah. Who will die? Lando modules, anti gravity thrusters. These are my jumpers. Okay. Only one slot for fuel tanks? That's annoying. Okay. Let's trade in some stuff. Cool. Uh, what can I buy with that exactly? Point defense? No. I want a better nuke. I don't care about that too much. More cool modules would be nice. I want thrusters and the advanced nuke. Yeah, I want thrusters and the advanced nuke first, so not yet. Fuel, fuel. How do I get more fuel? Let's buy stuff. And fuel. Okay. More vendors are not a necessity at the moment. Is there anything else? Uh no, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Adios. Okay. Mercury, inner planets. Yeah, Venus is a harsh mistress. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Yeah, it's very toxic. And we couldn't, we couldn't handle this. So, not at the moment. Maybe Mercury would be nicer. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Yeah, I hate these planets. Prometheum, Actinium. Yeah. In the planet suck. What else do we have? We have Jupiter. Let's explore a bit of Jupiter. And I'm gonna save it before I meet the time bomb again. That will be this session. Okay. Ganymede. I have an object. Let's take a look. Hydrocyanic acid, phosphoric acid. Is that? Is that what I think it is? Looks like an old Russian space probe. Yeah, it Captain. is. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. You have to admit, it's kind of cool. Let's do it again.
And wait as well. What is it? There it is. was Ganymede. Europa. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Hellied world. Yeah, you always want to send a lander because the resources here, which we can use. Also, there are thermal vents. Lots of smoke. Check if this costs me any fuel. Should probably check. Okay. What the fuck is this? Well, this is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. At least I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And... done. We'll just leave this here, then. Yeah, I probably should just leave this here. It's the monument, right? It's, it's the monolith. Sort of. Okay. Let's go pick up that Nox. Get the hell out of here. There's more Nox. Okay. To the eye of the storm. Now I'm done. Yeah, Europa. It's uh, 2001 weapons. Io, I've been told you have uranium. Captain, the weather on this planet will uh, make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. Chthonium. Very hot. But you have uranium. And I want uranium. But you're gonna kill me. Hmm. Never mind that. I'll come back later. Let's check out Callisto. There's some Thulium here. Let's go pick up. Okay, fuel is rather cheap. 
cost me 10 fuel so it should be worth it should make it worth it be worth it okay um, did I find anything I needed to find I think I did okay this is Uranus this is Neptune I want to see Pluto where is Pluto actually I don't really have the time I need to do something else. So let's just nosey on down to Triton again. And actually I'm gonna save first. Yeah. New game. And if anyone wants to leave, this is the Codex time. Okay. Known history, founding of Stantol. No hiring. Not long after the Lexites left Earth, the most powerful nations agreed to a new alliance. Under the auspice auspices of the United Nations, a new scientific and military space-based organization was established. Star Control. Our mission statement is the following. To rebuild and re-establish humanity's presence in space, to further humanity's scientific understanding and technological powers, to maintain a defensive post able to deal with any outside threat to humanity's existence, and to find out what the fuck happened to the Lexites. Uh, funding for Star Control is provided by a massive international fund as well as private investment from various innovators, including Darius Robotics and Sora Niston Dynamics. While we have no shortage of people, source, sources of the rare elements required for rebuilding our space fleet are now somewhat constrained. Stantol is also expected to become self-sufficient in securing resources from other planets within our solar systems and the asteroid belt. And we'll conclude with this. And see you next time. <laughs>